That's right guys, Warships Season 3, make it your season. What's up everybody, Boomers, Skull Army, Skull Crusher here. It is Tuesday, July the 2nd, 2019, and yes, we are coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. And in today's video, guys, we're going to cover the fact that, to be completely honest with you, defenses do not matter in the early stages here of Warships Season 3. Even when you make your way up, unlock that third engine room, unlock the flare... As you guys can see, right over here, for the main part of the second tier of the engine room, guys, we practically got, you know, the boom cannon, the third ER, the flamethrower, the flare, sergeant brick, smoke, zookas, practically in one go right there. And then, of course, we did unlock our artillery, our artillery on yesterday's live stream as well. We've got that upgraded once, which has made a huge difference for me, and we've got the flares upgraded twice as well to level three. Nine, sorry, 11 seconds is massive. That saves me the reef flare from taking out the first engine room, and it's gonna be a big difference for you guys as well. I highly recommend get the flare upgraded twice, get artillery upgraded once. And seriously, guys, defenses do not matter. This is a base race, okay? It's going to get to a point where, of course, when we get further down the tech tree and stats come into play with regards to troop damage, troop health, and gunboat energy. But as for now, you need to take out your opponent's engine rooms faster than he or she can take out yours. And as you can see over here, guys, at least going back to my last one, two, three, four, shout out to Boomtown there, first battle of the season, bro. Uh, five, six, and seven. We had one draw in there, but my last seven warship battles, guys, one draw with six wins, okay? And look at these times as well. 328 versus 326. 329 versus 313. 331 versus 318. 331 versus 325. 330 versus 326. Split. 327 down the line there. Shout out to Gaga. And of course, 332, that was a 28 second win there, versus 326. Shout out to General Electric, to Major Azul, to Launcher, to everyone that was giving very supportive uh, tips during yesterday's live stream. So let's go to Lee here, and let me show you what this is coming down to, guys. We're going to watch the replay here, and as you can see, we're going to pause it. Most of these bases, it's been very standard for me. It's the two ERs along the left side there, and then the one ER along the top right there. And of course, having that artillery upgraded once now allows me to bard out an engine room with two barrage and two artillery, which is significant. I can now reflare an engine room with one flare, saving me the gunboat energy to then use additional artillery on that last engine room to bring it down. I'll show you guys what we're talking about here. So as you can see, of course, we are taking advantage of the landing glitch. Supercell will be fixing it shortly. And as we land, we bart out that top right engine room, okay? Very straightforward. Troops are making their way up. We activate battle orders, reflare the first engine room, instantly flare the engine room in the back. If I've got any GB at this point, we will activate battle orders again. But this is what I'm talking about, guys. It comes down to a base race. So I think I finally am starting to narrow down this attack strategy as well. Deploy, Bart, ER. Sorry, deploy, Bart out first ER. Battle orders, flare first engine room, immediately flare last engine room, and then any additional GBE, use it for battle orders, barrage, or artillery to take down that ER even faster. So that was awesome right there, guys. We're going to jump into the next one right here. Big shout out there to Lee, Chinese character friend, 329 versus 313. Let's see if you guys notice anything similar. This one was actually pretty cool. So this engine room was in the middle here. And we're going to speed this up to times too. So we decided to bar out the top left one on this one. We activated battle orders, went for that glorious charge to the center ER. Top left ER has been barred out. Direct reflare to top right ER. And of course, Heavy's going to town on it. And just like that, guys, boom goes the dynamite so soul same plan of attack just adjusting it accordingly due to the nature of this warship layout there so moving forward guys we've got i fart or exclamation mark upside down fart and 331 versus 318 we're gonna jump in here guys once again oh i love these base layouts here shout out to warriors attack so when I'm approaching the split uh, warship layout like this with regards to three engine rooms, it's a split attack, guys, okay? This works best with four boats of heavies and brick on the left side. 
two boats of heavies, two boats of warriors on the right side there. You want to bard out that center, essentially the right, uh, the top right engine room, the center engine room, and then let the, uh, the troops on the right there just go to town and clear. As soon as you take out both ERs, you know, you activate that battle orders, directly flare the last one, and any remaining gunboat energy, just pour it on that top left ER. So just like that, guys, boom, goes the dynamite, and I really love going up against these warship layouts here we're gonna go back to uh fart here we're gonna watch that replay again in you know times four just to kind of give you a better understanding of how this attack strategy is done here but in once supercell does fix the uh landing glitch there of course this attack strategy uh utilizing the landing glitch will be ineffective so shout out to my man boomtown here guys we've got a 331 versus 325 so once again guys i'm narrowing my time down to roughly 28 to 33 34 seconds and i i absolutely love this so same thing here guys we get the deployment barred out that top right engine room activate battle orders flare the first instantly flare the last er i think we had enough gbe here to activate that battle orders again and it was just boom goes the dynamite and having that flare upgraded twice guys having that 11 second flare time is crucial here i don't have to reflare on the way to that last er and that will be beneficial and super super crucial to you as well and then we've got our russian friend here guys look at this 330 versus 326 this was another 30 second victory and once again guys like I said, I love seeing these layouts here. I highly recommend you do not put your warship in a layout like this with the landing glitch still in effect because you can easily take bases out like these in 30 seconds or less. Same plan of attack there, guys. Four uh, landing crafts, four boats of heavies and brick on the right. Two landing crafts of heavies, two landing crafts of riflemen on the right there. Or sorry, four boats of heavies, brick on the left. Two boats of heavies and two boats of riflemen on the left. You let them just do their thing and bart out that center top right engine room. So that worked very good for us. We've got the draw against Gaga here. This was 327 versus 327. And Gaga had a very similar layout here. Just very concentrated defenses at the bottom left ER and the top left ER. But as you can see, same plan of attack. Battle orders activated. Flare. Instant reflare. And this time, I think we did actually have to reflare because we did not have enough GBE for battle orders. But we still got it. And just like that, guys, boom goes the dynamite. But not being able to reach that last ER with battle order still activated did cost me a few seconds. And this is where exactly, guys, this is a game right now where it is coming down two seconds until we get to that point where we're going to full clears. But I still don't see that until at least four, five, potentially six engine rooms. And here we go, guys. Once again, with defense is not mattering, and it's just all about being this a base race, a speed race. 332 versus 326. We crushed our opponent here with a 28-second victory. And look at this layout, guys. Uh, once again, I highly recommend you do not put your warship in this layout here. We've got the four boats of heavies and brick on the left. Two boats of uh, heavies, two boats of riflemen on the right. We bartered out that center top right ER. And just like that, they go to town and boom goes the dynamite and this was a solid win streak for me guys defenses do not matter focus on getting that flare upgraded at least twice you want that 11 second time once i upgrade it one more time and get that 20 second time oh my god i am set make sure your artillery is upgraded once at least once level 12 and finally, guys, make sure your barrage is upgraded twice at, as well, at least to level 12. Very effective for me, guys. I will be continuing my warship stream today with this lovely six times win streak. And this is amazing, guys. Defenses don't matter. Practice the plan of attack. When you come with the standard warship layout, you know how you're going to approach it. When you have that split layout, it's even better. So, alright guys, keep in mind that defenses do not matter for the time being. I hope you did enjoy this video. Leave a thumbs up if you are new. Do not forget to crush that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Stay notified for when I go live and upload awesome Boom Beach content. Well, alright boomers, I think it's time to make Like a Tom and...